Turbo Kid 2015, directed by Francois Simard, starring Monroe Chambers, Lawrence LaBeouf, and Michael Ironside. In the post-apocalypse, a teenage scavenger dons the armor of a pre-war superhero and sets out to battle a ruthless tyrant. This film was recommended by a fan. Thanks for the suggestion. I've actually had this film on my radar for quite some time now. Even before I launched this channel, I had many friends suggest it to me over the years. This film is a fascinating juxtaposition of whimsy and brutality, successfully managing to balance the two while being a loving pastiche of 80s culture. The events of the film are carried by four characters. Monroe Chambers' nameless character is fairly bland. But given how over-the-top the Wasteland and its characters are in this film, it works. Lawrence LaBeouf plays a free-spirited girl whom I spent the first 15-20 to 20 minutes trying to figure out what her angle was and how the hell she managed to survive the apocalypse so long. It all makes sense when it's finally revealed. This is the second post-apocalyptic film I've reviewed featuring Michael Ironside. Unlike Neon City, however, he's playing the villainous Zeus this time around and definitely relishes in the role. Finally, Aaron Jeffries' arm-wrestling cowboy character Frederick offers little asides from the occasional gritty one-liner, but like with Chambers, there's just so much going on in this film that it all balances out. There's some great character design in this film. Zeus's crew of henchmen in particular are all kinds of badass and memorable. There's some pretty over-the-top gore in this film including decapitations, eviscerations, dismemberment, vaporization, and even some good old-fashioned hemicorporectomy. People gush torrents of blood in this film as well. I got serious early Sam Raimi and Peter Jackson vibes. The film features a lovely synthwave soundtrack, which enhances the authenticity the film is trying to accomplish. Research revealed that this film was made on a budget of $60,000, which is utterly shocking. As a regular sci-fi action film, it holds up alone. As a micro-budget production, this is a masterclass in low-budget filmmaking. Look at these sets. Look at these costumes. Look at these effects. Look at Michael Ironside being in this film. I have no idea how they managed to make this with only $60,000, but they pulled it off. Verdict? Highly recommended. Traverse the irradiated wastelands with this impossibly low-budget gem. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi or horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next time for another thrilling, low-budget adventure.